In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So we would like to welcome our visitors who are here and celebrate this special week with us. So give them a round of applause. On this very special weekend, the uh, readings are full of promise that living in time we are burdened by information and sometimes disinformation as well has caused serious divisions and threats to our life. We are here today, maybe with a heavy heart, a frustrating mind. We are seeking honorable leaders and words that we can trust. So as we uh, celebrate this sacred mystery, now let us take a moment to silence our mind and our heart, humbly present ourselves in the hands of God, and let Him to direct us, to guide us to where we need to be. Lord Jesus, you recognize that your followers were heavily burdened. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you invited them to come to you and learn from you. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you offer the same invitation to us who are also burdened. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, a foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to all the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will, all things has been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke, it is easy, and my burden, light. The Gospel of the Lord. These days, I had been feeling stuck and uh, trapped uh, in uh, ambivalence. I had been feeling stuck and, and trapped in ambivalence because every morning, when turning on the TV, I could hear someone say in one channel that we should ease coronavirus restrictions to restart the economy. Then in the other, other says, no, we should not. It is too early 
and too dangerous to do so. It's making me feel stuck and ambivalent. Then around noon, I browse um, through my Facebook page, and then uh, unavoidably, I come across some posting complaining that the um, Republican do not really care about people's health. Then move on to another. It said, it sounds like the Democrats are trying to politi politicalize everything, including the pandemic. Make me confused. And then in the, in the evening, when I sit down with some of my friends around the table dinner, I could hear someone on one side say, uh, trying to convince me that we should support the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Then on the other side, someone would say, no, it is because, because it's not only black lives, but all lives matter. I feel confused again. I feel confused and ambivalent seen as a guest. For those who don't know where I'm from, I'm from Vietnam. So as a guest in this complex country, Everything, every day, I see things happen before my eyes, but don't quite understand exactly what is going on. Then, as a friend of yours, I, has, I am seeing brokenness in people relationships but don't know how I could help to mediate or to address them. Then as a spiritual shepherd, a spiritual father, I have seen and heard that there is division taking place in our church community, and even in your families as well. Those feelings make me feel like I am helpless and powerless. When seeing those things happening before my eyes and your eyes, but I can do nothing to help you. And it is a matter of fact that is I, if um, I am as a, a guest, a friend, and a spiritual father, feeling stuck, confused, ambivalent, I guessed you all, each one of you, as the native, may be, may feel even worse. It is not too difficult for, for me to imagine how it's confusing and heartbroken that each of you are experiencing this day. Really, I feel helpless and powerless when seeing you all going through those things, experience those things in your daily life. 
I feel helpless and powerless when seeing your family got divided. But I don't know how to bring healing and reconciliation. Again, I feel helpless and powerless. As we are celebrating this very special weekend where freedom, unity are once again celebrated as the great blessings God has given this country, has given the people of America. I would like to um, invite you all, if it's possible, to do one thing, just one. Please take a rest. Please take a break from those political arguments. If it's possible, take a break from those political arguments. You have been very tired and suffering with the consequence of the pandemic, with the consequence of other social movement, your mind, your heart has been so unrest with things happening around each and every day, probably this weekend. Let's take a break. Have some rest for your mind and your heart. I believe that if our mind have some rest, if we have a restful mind and a peaceful heart, then we will be able to attentive to what God wants us to do. That we will be able to see, to listen, and to do God's solutions for us. As we heard in today's gospel, really it's not my invitation, but that is Jesus' invitation. He is offering the solution for us. And he said, Come to me, those who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. So, again, please take a rest for your mind, your heart, and enjoy family and friends. And now, as we trusting that the Lord is calling us to have our rest in Him, let us together profess our one faith. I believe in one God, Father of Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe one Lord, Jesus Christ. Before all is it, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for all salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and a life of the world to come. Amen. With humble hearts, now we come before the Lord to speak our needs and those of the world. For those who have lost hope in the future, who cannot find any source of good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, the old prayer. For catechists, teachers, pastors, theologians, writers, and all dedicated to sharing the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, the old prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially within our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayer. For those responsible for public safety, especially firefighters, police, and military personnel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayer. For all who are gathered at this table, may we find in their faith the strength to meet every difficulty. We pray to the Lord. For our Mass intention today, Jack Thorpe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayer. For the sick, the dying, and the needy in our midst, for those parish ministers who seek to serve them, for those who have died this week, especially Joe Walker, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, who has spoken to, to us through your Son, Jesus, we thank you for your life-giving word. Help us to understand what you speak and to share your word with those who long to hear it. We add this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the joke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with thou end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thou your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the Order Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most just spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and
No matter who we are, we are brothers and, sis and sisters in Christ. Now listen, listen to what Christ taught us now. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive the who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace at least grant peace in our days, especially that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other a sigh of peace. Peace with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gift, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, many people have asked me when will be my last day here. Uh, it will be... Um, June live 15. So next weekend will be my last weekend here at St. Joseph. And uh, I will preside all four masses. So um, if you can, I would like to see you here so that I can, I can say a goodbye and express my 
appreciation for what you have done for me. So again, hope to see you all next week. And uh, we're going to have an elbow, good, elbow goodbye. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and have some rest. Thanks, Pizzi.